And they can't process that you actually like, like yep. with the party <laughs> Table like, still quiet. Almost yeah, every it, person like, sees fire. Like, like they look like they had to reevaluate. <laughs> Welcome to LGB Action Music, saved by the Hood Ninja. I want to know what they mean by being saved by Hood Ninja. And who is the Hood Ninja? There once mm -hmm. was a time where being a nerd <laughs> I, I never, I was never not did cool it. to the general public. Never did. Nah, for real, bro. Like, where I'm from, if you wasn't doing drugs, making babies, and listening to rap music 24-7, you were considered a lame. Literally, y'all new kids growing up right now got it made. I, I was still lame, and we ain't doing drugs, we ain't doing that, or making babies. How we still lame? I, I want to know, if a cool person isn't doing that, you're lame, right? Cause I grew up with the people who paved the way for all y'all pampered degenerates to even have the luxury of publicly oh, liking anime, oh, yeah, being a gamer, oh, LARPing, oh, yeah. all the above. Like, I don't think y'all understand how bad we nerds had it growing up in the 90s and early 2000s, bruh. You know how many times I wanted to come to school with a Pokeball just to figure out I can't catch them all? Wow. <laughs> I think this thing malfunctioned. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm gonna head out. And y'all forbid you come to school with the whole pack on. You know how many times I wanted to come to school with an Assassin's Creed robe on? With a box of Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Naruto running down the hallway thinking like an anime character without getting tormented by people? Man, watch where you going. Ugly, big-headed little Ooh. running into me and leaving the most quintessentially vulnerable place a man has to be. What a fool. He doesn't have a clue that I play dirty. I have approximately 3.2 seconds until this uncultured swine finishes his condescending sentence and puts his disgusting hands on me. But little does he know, I already calculated the amount of force times the distance to make some <laughs> Yeah, that happened a lot in middle school. And since that was the case outside the house, our only peace was at the house uh -huh. or with other like-minded nerds. And it was worse when that's what you were known for around school as the clique you were associated with. Like the torment from people that thought they were better than you never stopped. Which, that ideology never... Yeah, if you so... If the people you associate with is the way they gonna call you. If you associate with the nerds, they gonna think you're a nerd. If you associate with the jock, they gonna think you're a job. And you show them the teachers, they think you're a teacher pet? Or you or they think you are one of A few moments later. Like to mm, I know um Moments later. Like to made sense to me because everybody at school wasn't even that much different. Like, yeah. bro, you're ridiculing me for watching anime, but you watch Family Guy in 106 in part. It, it's, 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 it's a whole media. Make it I mean, make sense. Yeah. Like, for me, I'm a nerd that didn't yeah, associate man, with just one click. I tried to fit in with as many people as I could, which was the worst and best decision I ever made because not only did it make me socialize more and result what? gaining positive connections with certain people in whatever click, but it also toughened me up. Oh. Nah, for real. Let me take y'all back to a time in high school. 20 minutes later hey, What you laughing at? Go feet Your toes be throwing up You ain't seen nothing Yep, <laughs> that was usually how it went. It was 11th grade year of high school. I was sitting at a place during lunch where my presence was not appreciated nor wanted. The football players table. See, I was a football player too, but remember, to them, I was the outcast and not cool in their eyes. So they just tolerated my presence, which didn't stop me from trying to fit in back then because I was hard. My urge to fit in was so strong that I just always put myself in stressful situations that I should not have been in in the first place. See, in my head, everybody at that table table saw me as the gum under their shoe all because of the torment majority of them caused me for years but on that day one product of oppression made my perception of the me against the world ideology change forever we ain't finna use his real name we finna call him Rico. so i'm sitting there targeted for a joke thinking of something to say back because i knew i was finna get 1v5 especially if i didn't say something back and i ain't no hope so regardless of the outcome i'm swinging back so me and my opposition start roasting each other of course i was losing because they were all biased towards the guy but i was taking all the hits chest up 10 toes and i was okay with it because i knew i was doomed to fail from the start so i mean 
So, Devontae, why do you think they were so negative? Bro, because everybody knows all road sessions win depend on how many laps you can get out of the audience. And hello, don't know if you noticed, but I was getting one V5 without the other four saying a single word. They had snot bubbles and tears running down their face, bro. I was not winning that. The only way I would have won is if my jokes were so funny that they superseded the audience's bias. And my jokes went. The only way you win if you have one joke. That actually trust every joke that he has to say to you, but that the point that you 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 already know that that never gonna uh, happen. Like you you already told us, told us you took the hit like a champ because you already know you're losing. So if you have one joke that could trust every joke he had, KO. Funny, my boy. Bro, the situation got so sticky that my opposition decided to get validation feedback from. People. Isn't that funny, my boy? Bro, the situation got so sticky that my opposition decided to get validation feedback from people in the audience. Hey, look at Rico. Mind you, Rico was a known hood dude at our school that was feared and respected by everybody. If you looked at him, you would think all he did was pop pills, gang gang, and slang that eye. He like, hey, Rico, this man Devontae watch anime, bro. That Dragon Ball stuff. That just so lame. I like it, too. Bro, we he's... When I tell y'all, the entire table got quiet. It was so quiet, you could hear Casper shooting dice in the corner. They were speechless. Like, they literally couldn't process a dude like Rico actually accepting and liking something they deemed as lame. I was even speechless myself. Like, I too couldn't process this one time in my life that a dude I barely talked to jumped in and saved me instead of letting me get made up or joined in. Y'all don't understand my respect and admiration. I have for this uh, dude in that moment, bro. Because like, even with his like specific it? status, wow. he stood ten toes on what he liked and didn't that care about the backlash. My mind went from me against the world to me against some of the world. Rico even doubled down. He was like, yeah, they be fighting and knocking folks through mountains, blasting beams out their hands and stuff, blowing up planets and flying. Yeah, all that. Like, like with the party, like, now everybody gonna think, go Yep. <sighs> Table still quiet. Almost every person sees fire. Like they look like they had to reevaluate themselves because that different perspective and thought process was new to them. I guess they were just so used to people automatically being sheep and agreeing with them that it just really messed them up in the head. And as for me, I felt a high sense of shalom. And since that day, I never forgot. In fact, years later, after graduation, I saw him at a store parking lot and caught up on life with him. It was. Surprising too, because I was in my hometown and I just ran into him randomly all these years later, which I kind of knew that was going to happen because I, I was in my hometown. So it's been like six or seven years since I seen and chopped it up with him in that parking lot. So I hope he's doing well. I know I ain't use your real name, but if you're watching this and you remember.